Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is consider the following pedigree of a trait having 100% penetrance and question A the probable mode of inheritance of this trait is and we have to choose X-link dominant, X-link recessive, autosomal recessive and autosomal dominant. I want to cross out autosomal dominant right away and also X-link dominant because if we have dominant genetic disorder uh, which is caused by one dominant allele we are not going to see that this genetic disorder skips generations like here it skips this generation completely and reappears in the next generation now we left only with autosomal recessive and x-link recessive why it is not autosomal recessive because um, you see the pattern that only males affected with this genetic disorder and we only see here one female so preferentially we see it in males so this gives a strong suggestion that this is X-link recessive genetic disorder especially when we see when this genetic disorder skips generation uh, affected son get genetic disorder through his mother not from uh, his father so take a look what we see here we see that this male here affected with this genetic disorder and his genotype is going to be defective x chromosome and normal y chromosome and genotype of this female is going to be two normal x chromosomes now what is the mode of inheritance every child here are going to get one chromosome from the mother side and one from the father side males get of course only y chromosome from the father side for example we know that this male here got y chromosome from the father side and got normal x chromosome from the mother side and as for this female uh, this female got defective x chromosome from the father side and normal x chromosome it can be any of this from the mother side so if father affected 100% of the female progeny is going to be heterozygous or going to be carrier of this genetic disorder which is X-link recessive males do not have second X chromosome so even if it is recessive genetic disorder in males it would be manifested as dominant genetic disorder and in females would be manifested as recessive genetic disorder now we have to suggest that this male who is uh, genetically uh, unrelated to this couple who marry into this uh, family and uh, we have to suggest that he is going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal so have normal x and y chromosome and uh, we see that this person is not descendant of this couple but this female is descendant and they have affected child affected male what does it mean that means that this male got defective x chromosome from the mother side and normal y chromosome from the father side boys uh, in this family always will get of course y chromosome from the father side some of them can be affected some not if they are going to get normal X chromosome from the mother side and as you see this female got normal X chromosome from the father side and because we see that in following generation we see affected child male child boy and then we know that this female got defective X chromosome from her mother this male is unrelated genetically not descendant of this couple so we suggest that he is genotypically phenotypically normal and this male here got defective x chromosome from the mother side and normal y chromosome from the father side and as for this male here we know that he got normal x chromosome from the mother side and normal y chromosome from the father side now we see that this couple has affected children and that means that this female should get defective X chromosome from her mother's side and normal 
X chromosome from her father's side. Here we see that this female affected with this genetic disorder. How this happened? This is due to the fact that both her parents has defective X chromosome. So genotype of this male is defective X normal Y and this female got defective X chromosome from mother side and another defective chromosome from the father side. And she is affected with this genetic disorder, but mother is not affected, she is carrier because this is x link recessive genetic disorder and for female to be affected she have to carry two recessive alleles in order to manifest this genetic disorder and as for this male he got normal y chromosome from the father side and defective x chromosome from the mother side so this is genotype of this male and we also can say that for example this male got defective X chromosome from the mother side, so mother is a carrier and father is phenotypically and genotypically normal and this is genotype of this male. So we know that mother is a carrier and because this couple has affected child here, we know that this female also got defective X chromosome from her mother side and normal X chromosome from the father side. And this male here got defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. And because this couple has affected child, we know that this female got defective X chromosome from her mother, normal X chromosome from her father. So normal X chromosome and when she marries phenotypically normal male we see that this boy got defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So you see the pattern and x link recessive explains why this um, genetic disorder skip one generation. Girls are normally unaffected unless we have a father who is affected and mother who is heterozygous. In this case we would see affected uh, girls in the family too. And now the second question if individual 5-2 which is here so generation 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we start counting from left to right, one, two, so five, two, marries a homozygous normal person, what is the probability that their first child will be a carrier? So now let's build a simple Punnett square. So we know the genotype of this person is defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And if he marries phenotypically normal female, what's going to be chances that this couple would have uh, a child who is going to be a carrier. Take a look. Normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side and defective X chromosome inherited from the father side. Normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side. 50% of the children would be carers or 100% of the girls. Because family has 50% probability that their first child is going to be a boy and 50% chances that their first child is going to be a girl, then our answer is going to be that probability that their first child would be a carrier are going to be 50% or if you like fraction we can say one half. If you like a percent it's going to be 50% or we also can use decimal and say 0 0.5 if we'll do our probability calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.